We're here in Nashville, Tennessee, the music city, home of Honky Tonk, Hot Chicken, and the Nashville Super Speedway. We're here this weekend for the Nashville Cup, but while we're here, we're gonna take in the sights, the smells, and the tastes that Nashville has to offer. Let's get it. Man, I just touched down in Nashville and I need a pickup. I think I know where to go to refuel. Man, Nashville's got some smells. The smell of fresh baked biscuits, the smell of fried chicken, and now I'm getting the smell of roasted coffee. This is barista parlor. Let's check out what they're brewing. That's good. Yeah. It's got a good bitterness to it. Obviously, the base is amazing. You guys roast in-house. What I hear about Barista Parlor is that you guys make some of the best drinks and the most creative drinks yeah. in town. Basically. You want to show me one? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. All right, we're going to work on our Shoeless Joe, which is one of our summer signature drinks. I've heard about this whole Coca-Cola coffee mix for right. a long time. Right. I've never had it. Yeah, it's an, it's an interesting combination. It's really good, um, very refreshing drink. Let's roll. All right, so we're going to start off with Mexican Coke. We're going to weigh that out so we get an exact amount every time. You guys are very particular. Yes. I respect that. All right, and then we are going to measure out this cherry syrup and do the shot of espresso. Last step. Fresh squeezed lime juice. Yep, just a little bit of lime juice in there. To balance all the sweetness that's going balance on. Balance it all out, bring some acidity into the mix. Right. And then just throw that in there, and then we'll top it off with a little lime wedge. And that's your guy. That's it right there. I mean, this is funky. Wow. You know, the key to the whole thing is the lime. The lime right? Just, the lime just kind of balances everything out, yeah. and it gives me all of the flavor notes that I'm getting off of the coffee. I mean, you want to talk about a refuel? Barista Parlor is a refuel, man. I'm ready to hit this town. That's it right there. It. It's honky tonk time, and I'm ready for Broadway. Let's head over to Robert's Western World. I'm gonna meet up with Corey LaJoy, and we're gonna learn about this famous fried bologna sandwich. Hayden? Yes, sir. How long you worked here? I've been here for a little over a year. What is that? That's our fried bologna sandwich. Look at that crunch, that's crazy good. How many of these do you say you make a day? On a weekend, we're probably going through three, three cases of bologna a shift. That's a lot of sandwiches. There he is. Hey. Took you long enough. I know. I thought you drove fast. I thought we had to bologna. <laughs> no, 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 we're waiting for you, man. And I feel like you can't like just sit on the grill. No, no, you gotta throw it. Yeah. That's the noise you want. You yeah, want that yeah. smack. the smack. Smack it up. All right, Texas yeah. toast, butter. Typically, right? Mayo, lettuce, tomato. But he was saying that some people, you want mustard, you want mustard. I'm gonna put cheese on mine. Yeah. Now, are there times when like this whole griddle is just filled Absolutely. like at night? Like here, here in a little bit, it'll be completely filled. So the griddle stays going all night. Bro, I can't believe I've never heard of this. That's looking pretty good. And then we put the hat on it. Yeah. That's nice. That's a good looking sandwich. It seems like a surgeon. Are those, which ones are ours? Oh, these two right here. These two right here? One with cheese on it. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Here we go. I got to be honest with you. Like, I know grilled cheese pretty well. The grill on the bread is salt. I think the key is the American cheese. I think we won with that. It, that's yeah. not standard, by the way. That was us. We called an audible there. We did. Cheers. My brother. Appreciate you. Well, I mean, pretty good. You're supposed to be here for six bucks. You're not, you're not losing. You're definitely you're, not losing. You're actually losing money not buying it. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've been to Broadway. 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 I've been to we got our fried bologna sandwich on now. Let's head over to the track, see what the fans are cooking up tonight. I got buds! We got some uh, some serious homemade sloppy joes going on over here. Wow. Yes, we Look can that. dance fabulous in there. Look at that. That is sloppy. There's no easy way of eating a sloppy Look joe. Look Oh, wow. That is delicious. I smell smoke! We're smoking queso right now. 
before the big race. Well, I don't know how you do it, but to me, the chip is merely a queso delivery device, right? That's right. Careful, there's jalapenos in there. Did I mention that? Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Y'all are spoiled. Can, I love it because like that smoke is subtle, right? Yep. But it's everything. Your wife made these? That's cute. Pretty yeah. good, isn't it? All right. You're a lucky man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's race day, and if you're in Nashville, there's only one place to start your morning. Biscuit Love. What's going on, Chef James? Good to see you, sir. You too, man. How's your morning going? It looks like it's about to get better. Oh, absolutely it is, man. What are you making? Oh, these are called B rolls. So they are biscuit cinnamon rolls. We throw on some butter, brown sugar, some cinnamon, a little <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I won't. And uh, we roll it up, we bake them off, and they are just about the most delicious cinnamon roll you've ever had. B rolls. B rolls. Biscuit. Biscuit. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Oh yeah. All righty, man. Oh good lord. I hope you're hungry. This is my first stop. So, let's... so this. That is what we just made. This is a B roll. Yeah. So you see, you got all that caramely goodness in the bottom, all that brown sugar that we threw in there. Made its own glaze. House made cream cheese icing off to the side, just because you know it yeah. would it wouldn't taste good without no, no, no. it. Oh look at that. You're you right, and look, layers. you get the, all the different, all the layers of mm -hmm. the swirls in there. I love it, man. My God. <laughs> Money? That is so good. Dude, thank you, man. I'm so airy. If this is how I'm starting my day, yeah. pray for me. <laughs> We're off to a great start, but before a big night at the track, I think it's now time to hit all of Nashville's hot spots. Now we're off to East Nashville, to Bolton's, one of the legends of the game. And they're gonna show us how the hot chicken game is won. So I hear this is like the hottest chicken in the game. Oh, yes. I'm scared. That's okay, I got a white towel for your head and everything. You're gonna have steam coming out nice. of your ears. Nice, oh, God. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, all right, so if you just come right on over uh -huh. there. This is our tenders and our wings. Uh -huh. So you're going to dab it in the water, uh -huh. put it in the flour, toss it up, and we're going to put it in the oil. And where's the spice coming from? The spice is going to be on the table when it come up. Oh, yeah. OK. So everything starts with just a dredge. Mm -hmm. You said we're both having medium. But I feel like I had a heavier hand on the spice than you did. I feel that way, too. Is, so is mine a hot, or is mine like it's a it's more, probably gonna more be medium than your medium? Medium hot probably medium, is what oh, you got. Like a little bit in the middle. Good. It's hot. That's medium? <laughs> this place is real. Real. And it, since it's a dry rub, you can use it almost on anything. You're right. It's hitting us now. Yeah. It's crazy because, like, the spice, like, I've had other hot chicken, and you're like, it looks bright red. You look at it, you're like, oh, God. This is what <laughs> I looked at, and I was like, I don't know. I don't get it. Dolly, I'm telling you, I get it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Dolly, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for, for keeping the legends of Bolton alive. You know what I mean? Nashville's been putting out amazing hot chicken for decades and decades and decades. But there's one restaurant that is spreading the gospel of hot chicken all over America. 10 restaurants in 10 years? This is Hattie B's. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Welcome to Hattie B's. What up, chef? Got some flights. Oh my God, you're killing me. All right, walk me through it. So let's talk about heat. Because look, you're gonna suffer today. <laughs> but but you don't have to. I think you like hot, right? That's I your do. favorite? I do right. Like hot, so, yeah, so then you could go damn hot. Damn hot. Or shut the cluck up. Right? Oh, so I'm not even yeah, doing that shut one. the no cluck up. So from one. hot to damn hot to shut the cluck up, it doubles at every Each step. step. All right. Hot. Right? So now we get a little bit of that spice on the outside too. Uh-huh. A little bit of that habanero. Uh-huh. It's kind of botanical, a little floral. Uh huh. It's nice. It's delicious. I feel like you're preparing me for the trouble now. Look at that. This is Shut the Cluck Up. Most of the year, cruises around half a million Scoville. Okay. <laughs> so if you get a lot on your lips like I just did, that's when you're really in for a treat. You what? might be tempted to wipe your eyes right now. Don't, Don't do that. No. Don't go down that road. No, the good news is it only lasts about 20 minutes. 
It is significant. You'll cruise back down to Earth. Yeah. I'll tell you that there's a reason why you guys are who you are. There's a reason why you guys are growing like you guys are growing. It's killing it. Because, Thank you, man. Because this is killing it. All right, last hot chicken of the day. We got it for Prince's. I got to be honest, I'm a little hot chicken out. So I'm calling in the reinforcements. My boy Rutledge Wood is here downtown for the broadcast. We're going to go refuel him up. There he is. We did, we did some sightseeing. Absolutely. What's <laughs> up, brother? How oh, are man, you? I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm so glad you called. I mean, yeah. the fact that you're in town, I love that you say, hey, what are you doing? What I'm did you hungry? bring? You know I'm hungry. Dude, I've been <laughs> <Have> we met. <laughs> Dude, I've been eating hot chicken all day. I need help with the last one. Okay. So this is the granddaddy of Mall. Wow. Prince's. I think the pickle on top is a real nice. The pickle helps. It fools people because they're like, oh, it can't be that bad. There's a pickle on top. <laughs> it's like a vegetable. All right. Well, Let's cheers. Go. Here we go. It's a hefty tender. It's a big. That's it's a, a big, big tender. tender. Ooh. This one's got a little bit more, like it's pepper forward. When are you all going to get some of these at refuel? You know what? That's not a bad idea, man. I don't know, dude. Maybe like a, we do like a hot chicken pimento cheese loaded french fry situation for Nashville next year. My lips feel like Panama City spring break, day three sunburn. <laughs> All right, dude, you gotta go broadcast. We gotta go to the track. Love you. I love you. Thanks for I'll having see you me. Again soon. I'll see you at the track. <laughs> I'm gonna pour milk on my face. <laughs> Nashville, Music City, what an amazing time. The track was hot, the fans were hot, the food was hot, and I can't wait to do it again. I'm Chef Eric Greenspan from NASCAR Refuel, and this, this was Man on the Track. <laughs>